Mr. Peter Ubi, has accused President Bola Tinubu of attempting to blackmail the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, sitting in Abuja. Obi said he was alarmed in the final written address he filed before the court when he heard the claim by Tinubu and the ruling All Progressives Congress APC that nullifying the outcome of the presidential election held on February 25 would cause anarchy in the country. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to this YouTube channel. If you're doing your first time with you see this channel, make enough to hit and rest subscribe button. If you just subscribed before, thank you and God bless you. And if you're doing your first time with you see this Facebook page, Pack everyone or one. Make enough free to like and follow this page for more videos all day to come your way. My people will not come back again. I tell them I say artists they play for a side court. How much are they go? I dare to bring a come on a doorstep. We're gonna see how the things your food. Finally, Peter Obi don't drop a final address. Can't see waiting the beat. Bola met if Tinibu and Mumu Yakubu for a side court. Guys, I go one play video for the Mokuna here. More than see say the reason why Bola met if Tinibu they cry. Say my man disqualified Peter Obi now because of say. Final address of Peter Obi disqualified Bola Met if Tinibu. He beats down Bola Met if Tinibu. See, I beg eh, one and all verse. May not be said to talk. Make I play this video for now before I go put my own take. But before then, you send on my Instagram handle, I beg. Make my follow me more, hit 10,000 followers on this Instagram. As now do so, God will bless you now. Make I play video for now. Yeah, wait till stop for a circle. Then I'm gonna say, Tif Tinibu and Mumu Yakubu. Then they run into scatter. They never see anything. Tif Tinibu has been disqualified. Watch this video, then will they come back. Candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Mr. Peter Ubi, has accused President Bola Tinubu of attempting to blackmail the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, sitting in Abuja. <laughs> Ubi said he was alarmed in the final written address he filed before the court when he heard the claim by Tinubu and the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, that nullifying the outcome of the presidential election held on February 25 would cause anarchy in the country. In the process, he filed through his team of lawyers, led by Levi Uzoku, SAN. The LP candidate described the submission by President Tinubu and the APC as desperation taken too far. According to him, a sentence in the second and third respondent's address alarmed the petitioners and millions of Nigerians. The second and third respondents went too low and abandoned discretion when they claimed as follows. Our submission is that the petitioners are inviting anarchy by their ventilation of the issue of non-transmission of results electronically by INEC. This is a cheap, misguided and destructive blackmail clearly intended to target the country's judicialism and constitutionalism. It also aims at cannibalizing our democracy. It will also raise the issue of insecurity if the petitioners emulate the bad example of the second and third respondents. However, that will never happen. When has it become offensive to canvass a ground prescribed for the challenge of an election in Section 134, Subsection 1B of the Electoral Act 2022? Desperation taken too far can be extremely dangerous. Let the second and third respondents know that where the rule of law is trampled upon or truncated, Anarchy reigns supreme, will be added in the final written address he filed alongside his party. Meanwhile, Peter Obi urged the Justice Haruna Samani led five member panel to uphold and grant all the reliefs he sought in the petition seeking to remove President Tinubu from office. Obi noted that whereas he called 13 witnesses and tendered several documentary evidence to prove his petition, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, called one witness, while President Tinubu and the APC also called one witness. He told the court that before the presidential election, the Vice President Kashim Shatima was previously nominated as a senatorial candidate of the APC for Boronu Central Senatorial District. The petitioners insisted that the VP Shatima remained a senatorial candidate till July 15, 2022 when he withdrew his nomination. Whilst the third respondent was standing nominated as a senatorial candidate, as Afo stated, he was unlawfully nominated as the vice presidential candidate of the fourth respondent on July 14, 2022, thereby knowingly allowed himself to be nominated as a candidate 
in more than one constituency within the meaning and intendment of Section 35 of the Electoral Act. The petitioners argued that the invalid nomination of Shatima as the vice presidential candidate nullified the nomination and election of Tinubu as the presidential candidate of APC within the meaning of the provision of Section 143 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. On the issue of Tinubu's alleged involvement in a drug-related case, Obi and the LP averred, It is common knowledge that the second respondent was the subject of an order of forfeiture made by the United States District Court, Northern District of Illinois, Eastern Division in case number 93C4483. The order of forfeiture against the second respondent was in terms forfeiting the sum of 460,000 US dollars against him. Bola Tinubu, which represents proceeds of narcotics trafficking and money laundering. The order for forfeiture against the second respondent was a fine within the meaning of Section 137, Subsection 1D of the 1999 Constitution, for which a person shall not be qualified for election to the office of the president if he is under a sentence or fine for an offense involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called imposed on him by a court or tribunal. The virus of the statutory and constitutional disqualification of the second and third respondents as candidates in the presidential election renders their purported return and declaration as the winners of the election invalid, null and void, and liable to be set aside, OB and LP argued. While accusing INEC of deliberately refusing to electronically transmit results of the presidential election from polling units to the IRF portal using the bimodal voter accreditation system Beavers, the petitioners for the alleged that the electoral body eventually uploaded blood results to its portal. Okay, guys, so now watch what the app for his court. Now, what's it go on with that for his court where they make Bola Ameti if they run Eta Skeeter and Mumu Yakubo. When I tell you, I say, Bola Ameti if you not get what he won't feed you again. All those one way come, they come and say, make court disqualify uh, Peter or B. Say Peter or B no go run. Say, now he an article if they won't do re election. Now he an article. Now he go. See, re election is not taking place. He no say, man, he no say go fully. That's why they fight so hard. To change judges for his side court and it's not possible. When I hear everything, when I hear what it's I am in a court case, oh, drug traffic, you know, money laundering, everything, all those things. Now, see, they know the judges, them know. They know, say this thing, don't try ball and met 15 people, and ball and met 15 people is not qualified. That's why you see this man is proud by all means to change. And you can't change a city judge who don't judge matter finish. Peter will be you won't use and take play. When I feel say now nah, no man say go to court. When he go court, you know go see anything break up. See, we tell now say this our era, so this our time. Now time waiting could take work for Nigeria. Now we did so. When I first they do before, when I try, see when I time don't pass. When I time when I think they loot for Nigeria, then they see take condemn that country. He don't hang. This time now the time to fix Nigeria. Now we did so. This is the time to make Nigeria work again because Una. Tiftinibu, Mumu Yakubu, Jubri, all of Una. See, Una must pay for Una cry, for truncating the democracy, for disturbing the country, for making anarchy in that country. Una must feed the rods. Yes, so, because now, the anarchy don't take place. Look at the country at large. What's going on? A lot of chaos. Problem there everywhere now. I don't know what talk about. Now, but you're gonna go see heavy fight now on court. So, I'm not kidding already. They have for the Nigeria waiting for a match if you the It don't happen, it's taking place already in Nigeria. Now, you can't come out, you can't say, See, Peter will be now touchable, now beatable. If you don't know more, you know, Bola I met if you you are Mumu Yakubu. If you don't know, you know, Peter will be is untouchable, unbeatable. You cannot beat Peter will be, you cannot beat him as down. Instead, he don't win na everything. He don't beat you na. One official na bring on a written address. On a coffee say everything one account they talk. On a get power and get. See, when Peter bring bring your written address, our market. They they open your file again now. For America for confirm and say yes. 
you have a criminal case, but now 2026 January, now they won't bring a fire call. Or at least they confirm and say you have criminal case. That alone kill everything. It don't that's it don't disqualify you because as a criminal, you are not allowed to be in any post in Nigeria. You don't go feel wrong for any party, but I met you as a criminal. Because when they put you for that office, eh, you go do a lot of atrocity just the way they do so. For just almost three months in office, you don't borrow money for everywhere. Look at the problem it costs in the country. A lot! Then you call the talk, see? May they disqualify Peter Obi if they want to run election. Now you are Atiku. Now you, see, Atiku knows he never won this election. He know. He knows that Peter Obi won. But the reason why Atiku is challenging you is that Mumu Yakub was not supposed to give you the winning. That's where the issue lies. Mumu Yakub was not supposed to give you that winning. But he gave it to you. That's why Atiku came out. If you could give Bola Met 15 Nibu this winning, me, 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 we can't beat Bola Met 15 Nibu. That's why you saw Atiku in tribunal. In real sense, Peter will be took first. This issue was not supposed to be in court today. But because of Mumu Yakubu, they did it wrongly. That gave you mandate that does not belong to you. That's why you see the issue for court. This matter, Peter will be not supposed to work for Nigeria. Now, Nigeria is not supposed to be peaceful. But because of your bad mind, evil mind with the Kadiwaka, you say no. You cannot give it to Peter Obi. You want to run this country with your evil mind. And you can't feel we're going to live off. No! We're going to fight to make sure we get our mandate back. Now, we they fight to get the mandate. Now, we they fight to get our mandate. You stole our mandate. We are the ones saying it. No, Peter Obi. You stole our mandate. Bola met 15 Nibu. You stole the masses' mandates. We never voted for you. Majority never voted for you. We voted for Peter Obi. And I respect all the Nigeria youths. I give them a kudos for the effort, the time, everything we want to do for this election. I understand, see, yes, nobody voted for Peter, uh, nobody voted for Bola Met Tiftinibu. Everybody voted for Peter Obi. Nobody voted Bola Met Tiftinibu. But because Muya Kubu no say, he don't plan what he won't do. It is now what he do for 2019 or be waiting they do before. Now he won't do this time. He no no say the youth of this time will don't wake up because enough is enough. Now don't to marginalize the youths for the country. So this time the youths woke up this time to take back their country. Yeah, we're gonna kick you guys out. Peter Obi is coming. You see the final address of Peter Obi now. You see every time I go, it shock you. It shock you now be APC. It shock you now. I wanna the feel say Peter Obi, you not get anything. Peter Obi, they beat now answer for his I cut every time. Peter Obi, now the Okute, the Odogu, the Akataka of it all. See Peter Obi for your back, he they come. Don't worry, very soon Peter Obi go to house rock just now. The matter will play with change on her. Now we did here, now we the runner. Now we the runner. Oh, be Patriotic Nigeria, I'm gonna calm down. Nigeria is gonna be sweet very soon. Calm down, Tiftinibu, shake it. They're going for it. You are going to prison. Mumu Yakubu, you they go to prison. When I wait, because I hand this video here. Help me to share this video as you do so. God bless you. And make sure not fail to follow me on Instagram, please. Please, let's eat 10,000 followers on Instagram. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye. bye, -bye.